Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center and today's video is inspired by one of your questions. Eduardo Espinosa de los Monteros, great name by the way, asks, if you had only $100 to put together an EDC kit with at least three products, what would be your favorites? Really fun subject and I'm going to do you a few better. Instead of just one segment of an EDC kit, I've got a bunch of kits here under a hundred bucks that are going to serve a lot of different purposes. So let's get into it. So we've got just a hundred dollars to work with for each of these sets of kind of EDC combo carry kits. And so we're gonna have to be really careful on what we choose, try to cover a broad range of uses. So the first kit we're going to look at here is designed for kind of the knife enthusiast on the budget. Maybe you're just getting started as a knife collector, but you still want something that, you know, maybe someone who's been in it longer is still going to respect. So we've got some nice items here and we're going to keep things a little bit on the smaller side too, kind of easy to carry, a bit miniaturized, but a lot of capability built in. And the knife, the main blade for this first EDC kit is the QSP Penguin really popular knife right now and you get a lot of really cool things for the knife enthusiast for its you know 32 dollars and change price point first off you've got a d2 blade just over three inches long lot of capability a lot of edge retention in that steel and capability built into this sheep's foot shape you're going to be able to put some you know a little bit tougher cuts or a little bit uh you know heavier cuts than you would with Kind of a daintier blade in this same size range and that's backed up by this nice handle you've got enough length there for most people to probably get about a four finger grip on there in that kind of gorilla grip but it's still going to be nice and easy to control because it's not too big it's going to be easy enough in the pocket thanks to that and thanks to the deep carry pocket clip which is reversible fit and finish on these guys for a 32 dollars knife is frankly astonishingly good they're put together exceptionally well no ball bearings in the pivot. So if that's like the one kind of knife enthusiast detail, you're not going to get at this price range for this knife, but it doesn't really need it. As you can see, the action there is quite good. Micarta handles, nice enthusiast choice right now, especially this denim Micarta, which I think looks really good. In addition to that, it's going to look good, you know, in your jeans as you're carrying it day to day. And of course, being Micarta, you've got a nice matte finish on this particular one. And when it gets wet, it's going to feel even a little bit grippier. Now, me personally, I tend to usually pair my primary blade with some kind of Swiss Army knife or other kind of multi-tool. And in keeping with kind of the, uh, the miniaturized form factor, but the outsized performance, we're going to pair this one with the Victorinox mini champ this comes in about 43 dollars right now now from the front it's the same size as the classic sd which is a classic keychain knife you can still fit it on your keychain but you've got a bunch of extra tools going on there's actually two blades on this guy three if you count the little parcel or uh, the little package opener right here you've also got the standard pen blade as well as a small warncliffe blade so with this combo you've got essentially four cutting edges Scratch that, you've also got a pair of scissors here. So we'll call that five to six cutting edges, depending on how you count the scissors. Nail file, little bits of uh, some screwdriver capability built in. Nice combination, Phillips head and bottle opener here. Tweezers, no toothpick, but you do get on this knife, got a small retractable pen. Now this is a small little guy, you're probably not gonna have, uh, you wanna use this as your primary writing utensil, but You've got that little extra bit there just in case you've uh, you've forgotten it you run out of ink somebody uh, runs away with it you've got another bit right there last thing i like for edc is a nice little flashlight and for that for this purpose coming in 27 bucks the phoenix e03r it's really small would fit on a keychain or easy to stash a few other places it's also rechargeable via USB-C there right on the side. So very easy to always have charged up, always have some light on you, and it's gonna use the modern connector as well. You've got a few different levels of white light up to 260 lumens. There's also a red light or red LED if you don't wanna spoil like your night vision. And coming in at a really good price, the form factor is really cool. Aluminum body feels super robust. So when you add these three items together, Grand total, you know, before tax, before shipping, anything like that, 95 bucks. A lot going on there for that price. All right, next up, we're going to look at like a gentleman's carry. So 
bit fancier, you'd be able to use it uh, if you're wearing some fancier clothes, in a suit maybe, or just kind of a general purpose office EDC if you don't want to be too kind of out there with, uh, with what you're carrying. And for the primary blade here, CJRB RIA. The uh, version coming in at $32 with carbon fiber handles and a 12C27 stainless steel blade. Good amount of performance there as well. Won't hold an edge like the, uh, the D2 we just looked at, but it's gonna take a very fine edge very easily, easier to maintain than D2. And it does hold it a, uh, a pretty good long while, plus it's stainless to boot. Now I think one of the important things for a gentleman's carry, just as important as the, uh, the enthusiast choice with that deep carry pocket clip, is the deep carry clip here as well. You wanna be you know, discreet enough with your, uh, your white collar carry in this case. And you do have that nice deep carry clip here, right side only, this is not a, a left hand compatible knife really. Same thing with the lock, we've got a liner lock there, but ball bearings in this particular pivot, and actually the same price as that QSP. So if you want, uh, if you want that rather than the sheep's foot blade, there's various versions of this Rhea to be had. But with those ball bearings and with the placement of the thumb stud, it's got a really snappy action. It feels fantastic. I've said this since they first come out, it has an almost assisted opening feel without worrying about that spring on the closing action. It's still very, very easy. And you've got a very inoffensive looking knife that still has a good amount of blade. Kind of has a classic pocket knife vibe, but all modern with its lock and materials. With that, we're gonna pair it with the quintessential gentleman's Swiss Army knife in my mind, which is the Cadet. Just two layers thick, you've got a standard blade here at the top, nail file at the bottom, and then you've got your two other implements, a can opener on one side with a small flathead screwdriver on the top. They could pull off some Phillips head stuff in a pinch if it's the right size, and a cap lifter on the other side with a bigger flathead and a wire stripper as well. Folds in very slim, it's not gonna take up a ton of room, and the Alox aluminum handle scales here look super classy. And if that CJRB is you know, just a little too much you wanna pull out in a certain situation, you wanna be even more kind of socially acceptable, this is going to be a great option for stuff like that. Price on that's about 35 bucks, and the third item for this particular combo, we're gonna want a nice looking pen. So the Fisher Bullet Space Pen, Chrome with a clip coming in about 27 bucks is a really nice option. Doesn't take up a lot of space in your pocket. Actually, all of these are very compact as well. This would be good for both men and women, women especially with the nice small pockets they have to deal with on a lot of situations. But really classy looking pen, very small, and you post it when you open it up so you have a pretty decent full size writing experience there. And of course, the Fisher Space Pen cartridge really nice because it's pressurized, which means you can write upside down, sometimes underwater, not that you're gonna really need to do that in an office environment, but it's gonna write on all kinds of different surfaces as well. So you've got a lot of capability in addition to that nice classy look. The pocket clip I think is essential. There are versions of this that, uh, that come without the clip, but in addition to keeping it easy to access, it's also gonna keep it from rolling off a table as well, since that's gonna stop things quite nicely. So grand total, we're coming in on this one, uh, just over 94 bucks for these three items. All right, so now we're gonna go from like this white collar combination to a rather blue collar combination. This is kind of something you'd wanna carry for some dirty jobs out there. First off, you're definitely gonna wanna center things around a capable multi-tool. And coming in at 70 bucks, this is the most expensive item we have here on the table. We've got the full-size SOG Power Lock. Uh, not the black version, the, uh, the silver version comes in at 70 bucks. This black one's about five bucks more. We're just gonna pretend this is the silver one because I didn't have one on the shelf today when we were filming this particular video, but pretty much the same thing right here. Full size, like I said, you've got the nice big handles and as you can see here, you've got SOG's signature element on their multi-tools, their compound leverage system. So you can really exert a lot of force a lot of pressure on the combination plier heads right here. Really good for heavier work. And all the tools are accessible from the inside, but you have this nice cover that slides over there to make these handles a little more comfortable when you are kind of squeezing down for some of those heavier jobs. So in addition to various you know, drivers, punches, and that sort of thing, you've got two tools that I think are essential for this kind of segment. You've got an aggressive blade, in this case you've got serrations, 
Normally I'm not a huge fan of those in general, but it's gonna be very useful if you're doing anything uh, with like rubber hoses, that sort of thing, more fibrous materials. And you've also got a nice milled file here on the other side. Double milled on one side, single on the other, so you have a couple different capabilities there. You've also got a nice wood saw here and a nice robust pair of scissors, so this can flex beyond into some other rolls and a quarter inch socket driver here as well. Very cool. All of these tools do lock open as well, so you've got that extra bit of capability, an extra bit of peace of mind too. With that, we're gonna need a nice light on this combination as well, uh, and you're gonna want it to be hands off, especially if you're working uh, on a car, working in a hood, anything like that. You wanna have both hands free to work. So rather than go with like a headlamp, got a really interesting unit right here. This is the Easy Red NK10. It's a neck light. It actually goes right around your neck and you've got two LEDs, one on each side. There's a couple versions of this, but this one right here runs on AA batteries and comes in at just 20 bucks. Now you can rotate either one of these to whichever direction you need. Each one can be controlled independently and you can up, get up to 200 lumens out of this guy, plenty enough to see what you're working on. So last for this one, we're gonna go with a felt tip marker. This is the Cold Steel Pocket Shark and they've marketed this in the past as kind of a tactical option, but I think it's uh, even better for this type of role because they also describe this as being virtually unbreakable. This is an incredibly robust felt tip marker. Think of it like kind of a Sharpie marker, but harder to break. Uh, and that's gonna be very useful on working on all kinds of different projects. The lid itself screws off. You've got a fairly fine tip there, so you can write on whatever projects you're doing, mark down cuts, that sort of thing. Gonna be very, very handy for a lot of different uses. And coming in at eight bucks brings the total for this particular trio in to about 98 bucks, so just under the ceiling. Now, if you'd rather have a blue collar combo that you can have a primary knife blade with, uh, maybe that, uh, that particular multi-tool solution doesn't quite do it for you, I have a, uh, an alternate dirty jobbing combo. We're gonna keep the light at 20 bucks. We're gonna add, still want a multi-tool, we're gonna go with the Leatherman Bond here, which is $50. Comes with a sheath, actually both of these multi-tools come with a belt sheath, but the Bond also comes with a pocket clip if you'd rather carry it that way. Kind of an old school Leatherman uh, in, in this case. Uh, you don't have locking tools. It's a little bit harder to use one-handed as well, but you still do have a nice blade and a nice file on the other side in addition to some drivers. No scissors in this case, but this is a slimmer carry, which can be quite nice. Made in the USA, nice warranty to boot. So that brings us up to about $70 so far, which leaves us about 30 to get a cold steel tough light. Really excellent knife for some hardier jobs, some craft projects, that sort of thing. Aggressive Warncliffe style blade here, Aus 8 steel, hollow ground. And what's really nice about the handle is you can get a full grip on it, even though the blade itself is only about two and a half inches and the triad lock as well. Looks like a lockback, operates like a lockback, but you've got an incredibly tough locking mechanism here on an incredibly tough folder for the price and for the weight. I mean, this thing is only coming in uh, just for just a couple of ounces, two and a half ounces for this guy, but it's definitely gonna inspire confidence when you push through a task. And this one coming in, or this combo here coming in right at that $100 mark. All right, next up, we're gonna go with kind of a tactical EDC combo. If you want a blade uh, and a tool loadout that's maybe a little bit more aggressive, this stands in pretty stark contrast to the, uh, the compact EDC thing we looked at at the very beginning of the video. And I couldn't decide between two particular knives, so I'm gonna go ahead and show both. Now, both of the knives are from Kershaw's Emerson collaboration series. I've got the CQC 7K and the CQC 10K. And both of these come in at 45 bucks. Uh, so the same price, even though one's a little bit larger and you've got two different flavors going on. Both of them have G10 for the front scales, decent amount of grip, not too aggressive, but you've got a good amount there. Stainless steel frame locks on the back. They've also got Kershaw's wave shaped opener here so you can wave it open, use your pocket hem to deploy the blade as you're drawing it. So you've got very fast access. You've also got the ambidextrous thumb plate if you'd rather open it that way. 
8CR series stainless steel on both of these as well. Nothing to write home about, but definitely a solid option. And then you've got the Tonto blade on the 7K, comes in about three and a quarter inches, or you've got the aggressive clip point blade on the 10K coming in about three and a half inches. Geometry's hollow ground, of course, the Tonto is gonna be a little bit more stout feeling, and the, uh, the clip point is gonna have a little bit more slicing capabilities in addition to that extra reach. But both very intimidating and very capable. Next up, we need a nice tactical pen, and we're gonna go with tops on this one. A little bit of an unusual option here. This is the SOPR Spec Ops pen in orange coming in at 23 bucks. And rather than having a cap and a pocket clip, instead you've actually got a Kydex neck sheath set up here with a breakaway chain and everything. And you're able to pull it out of there. It's modeled after a craftsman's pencil or a carpenter's pencil. So it's very easy to index if you're familiar with that sort of device. And then you've got a Fisher Space Pen cartridge in here as well. So you've got all the same write anywhere benefits. And essentially you're gonna use that as the striking tip if you happen to have to use this in a tactical manner. Very robust tool, very handy writing tool. A nice different way to carry a pen as well. Next up we want a flashlight. We want a nice tactical light. And I gotta say this particular combo is one where I think you could really do a little bit uh, more for yourself if you had a little bit more budget than a hundred bucks and you can get into some like real true tactical lights. Uh, right now, best we can get in this price range is this Olight, it's the i5T, coming in at about 30 bucks. Really nice light, don't get me wrong, it's just for the tactical applications, you might want something a little bigger sometimes. But it's got the right kind of form factor, albeit a little small, and the right kind of switch as well. It's very easy to momentarily turn the light on, you can use it as a distraction tool, and it's just short enough, as long as you don't have super big hands, you could use the, uh, the end of this as a striking plane if you need to. No crenellated bezels or anything right here. But even if it falls maybe a little bit short in that regard for a tactical uh, purpose, fantastic EDC light. Runs on a AA battery, 300 lumens on its maximum setting. And I really like their pocket clips. It's kind of a dual design. You can clip it either direction, essentially, whether it's in your pocket with the, uh, the standard one or the standard usage of the pocket clip right here, or you can lift up the other end of the pocket clip and I like using this, you can mount it to, let's say you're wearing a hat with a brim, you can use it as an impromptu headlight as well, which is very, very useful. So grand total for this combo here comes in 98 bucks. All right, last but not least, we're gonna get to kind of the outdoor uses, whether it's a hiking carry or camping carry, that sort of thing. And thanks to the wonderfully low priced, but still high quality Mora knives out there, we can actually get four implements, four different tools under a hundred bucks. Starting with kind of the quintessential modern Mora, the Companion, this is the HD, the heavy duty version, comes in at 19 bucks. For that, you've got a slightly thicker blade than the standard Companions, stainless or carbon is available. Go, I went with the carbon here for you know, a little bit more toughness. Razor sharp Scandi grind. Now it's not a full tang construction, but you do have a fairly robust about three quarter tang underneath the rubberized over molded handles. Rubberized of course gives you a lot of grip, especially in cold or wet conditions. And a couple different colors are available. Uh, the heavy duty I think is only orange and green, maybe black, uh, but there are some, uh, some plenty of other colors if you go with the slimmer version and that saves you only about a buck. So I went with, uh, I spent the extra dollar to get some more capability here. Very robust tools. Survivalists and bushcrafters really love these guys. Fairly lightweight as well, and a nice sheath. Knife clicks in, no problem. And with this broad patch of orange on this particular color, outside of certain situations like a lot of leaf litter in the fall when the, the leaves have changed colors, it's gonna be a pretty easy color to see when you're out in the wild if you happen to set the knife down somewhere. We're gonna pair this with a Swiss Army knife as well. And the big thing you want for your outdoor Swiss Army knife beyond just some general tools is a nice saw. And we're gonna go with the Victorinox Camper, which comes in about 27 bucks right now. Got your main blade, you got your saw as well. And you've got actually a secondary pen blade on this guy too, which is gonna to be really nice in addition to being able to use the main blade maybe for a little bit of light food prep. The smaller blade is gonna be great for detail work. These work great for uh, whittling and wood carving very nicely. Got your cap lifter and bottle opener combos there as well. On the back side, you've got a nice awl, gonna be great 
for projects out in the woods, whether leather work or some bush crafty stuff, has a nice crisp edge and you can keep it sharp too. And then you've got a corkscrew. You can use that to open wine, of course, or you can use this to help untie knots. That's the thing I really like it for, especially on an outdoor Swiss Army knife. Really, this has the bare essentials and all the basics covered for what you would want in a Swiss Army knife for an outdoor use. Next up, very nice piece of gear for outdoors use. This is the SOG Flint and Safety Whistle, comes in at 15 bucks. And in addition to having a nice signaling whistle here on one end, you have a glass breaker on the other. Not so much a, a concern probably for outdoor uses, but for something that could live on your keychain all the time, that is pretty handy. But the other really important thing, unscrew and then are on the inside, you've got a fire steel and a small striker. So you've got a way to make fire, keep you warm, keep wildlife at bay in a uh, emergency situation, cook your food and back to an emergency situation. The whistle and the fire capabilities here gives you two different ways to signal for help as well. All right, next up, we're going to want a nice light as well. And for hiking, especially, I think hands free use is just as important as the, uh, the hard work combo we had earlier. Uh, so for a little bit more money, we're going to go with an actual headlamp this time coming in at 30 bucks. This is the Phoenix HL 15, uh, 200 lumens max runs on two triple A's, a couple of different brightness levels and signaling levels on this. And the color on this is actually pretty important as well. The blue here is actually, and in many cases can be even more highly visible in the wild than orange. It's actually one of the least commonly occurring colors in nature. So it's nice to have that on this as well. If you happen to set it down while it's not on, you've also got, as you can see with, by the uh, kind of silver slashes here on the headband, little reflective areas as well. So if someone else has a light and you're trying to find the light you set down, you're going to be able to, to see it. And also other people are going to be able to see you if you have it on your head with the light off as well. Let's say emergency situation and you run out of batteries, someone's looking for you. The reflectivity is nice. And it's lightweight too. I mean, without batteries, it's only about two ounces. So it's not going to weigh you down even without that third strap here, which some headlamps carry. I prefer this style. It's a little bit simpler, but it's only going to work if it's nice and lightweight. And we definitely have that here. Grand total for this combo of four tools actually comes in at just 91 bucks. So you've still got a little bit left over uh, for some extra doodads if you want. I will say if you really have to have a folder rather than the fixed blade in this case, although I would recommend going with the fixed blade, uh, the Ontario rat one is what I would suggest. Normal price on that is about 32 bucks. So it's going to push it above the hundred dollar limit just a little bit. However, right now, at least, and for a little bit after this video is posted, we do have one particular version of the rat one on clearance for just $23. So that brings our grand total. If you swap out the Mora for this Ontario, uh, that brings us up to about 95 bucks for this same great combo of four different tools. We've got an OS eight blade length is about 3.6 inches, very versatile drop point shape with a full flat grind. It's going to slice. Well, it's going to cut. Well, you got plenty of belly here. If you're going to use it for some uh, slicing or skinning tasks, very robust handle as well, full length, non skeletonized liners and enough length for even larger hands, even bigger hands that happen to be wearing a pair of gloves. You're going to have plenty of real estate here and lots of control over the blade. Nylon handles, not really a lot of grip. You do have a dimpled texture here, but it's not very aggressive. Certainly easy to modify if you wanted. In fact, a lot of people love modifying these particular knives, liner lock, dual thumb studs four position pocket clip. Great all around kind of harder use knife at the price range. Anyway, a lot of capability. Great as part of this outdoor EDC combo as well. All right. So that's all I've got for this selection of EDC combos. Uh, depending on how you count it, there's five to eight different uh, use cases here. Technically, I guess eight different uh, official combinations here. Uh, but let me know which one of these you liked, what you thought of my picks, and let me know what you would pick for your $100 EDC combo of tools as well, right down there in the comments. If you want to get your hands on any of these guys, as always, there will be links in the description to take you over to knifecenter.com. Make sure you sign up for our knife rewards program so you can earn some free money to spend on your next knife when you buy one of these knives or accessories today.
I'm David C. Anderson from the Knife Center signing off. Eduardo, thank you for the question. See you all next time.